everyone and welcome back to uh, Designing uh, Crafts with Style by Chari. Today, uh, actually, it's not even Christmas, folks, but I'm, I am uh, doing this video because I want to be gone through January and I want to be sure that you have a project uh, for um, Valentine's. So, I'm doing is a Valentine's Angel. Um, Valentine's is very special for me because uh, uh, I think I mentioned it to some of you before maybe um, I was in boarding school and uh, the oldest girls and I was one of them I guess and, and the ones in high school especially if you were a senior and I uh, I was a senior and so um, they uh, asked us to go to the chapel and actually um, you know, I asked some Valentine to help us find uh, the ideal husband. Well, I took, apparently I took it very much at heart, okay, because uh, uh, everything that I asked for, I found. I had to travel, you know, thousands of miles to get him, you know, the way he was, but uh, the Lord arranged that too. Um, so anyway, um, as I say, it's a very special time for me. And uh, he was the type of man that uh, knew uh, what kind of car to pick, uh, what kind of gift to pick. It didn't necessarily have to be expensive, but he knew exactly, you know, those little special things. He he listened, in other words, he listened, and uh, I maybe forgotten all about it, and then I was surprised for whatever he got me. So, uh, like I said, for that reason, uh, it's a very a uh, special day for me, St. Valentine's Day. And uh, my angel, of course, is my husband. And even though he's gonna have, uh, uh, he would just kill me if, if, he, if he knew I'm putting him pink on him, but on my angel. But angels comes in every size and shape. And uh, we, you know, they don't really dress with suits or anything, at least I don't think we do. But this angel is gonna be very feminine, very beautiful. And, uh, but with his soul in it, and that's, you know, it all matters for me. So saying that, uh, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Uh, I believe uh, I made, made a, a big one, I think it was 21 inches, but I decided I'd do a smaller one, okay? And this angel is going to be about, let's see, it's 13 inches high, okay? This is done. It's one of those uh, paper mache uh, dress forms. And the only thing I've done, and it's for Tom's sake, because let's face it, uh, doing the paper mache takes a long time to do and drying and all that so I did it with the old music sheets little pieces at a time a lot of decoupage and the decoupage has been our one of our sponsor also for uh, um, on our Christmas hop 25 days of Christmas hop so uh, listen I don't buy I buy mine by the gallons, I think. You know, I have used so much of it that I, anymore I just buy it by the gallon. But um, it, it is a great, great, <laughs> great stuff. And uh, I think it turned out really well. I'm happy with how it turned out. So I did that and then I stressed it out and kind of, you know, stained it a little bit. And I used for my stain, hold on just a second, and I'll, I'll tell you. I believe it's the bronze. Let's see. No, it's this one, I believe. Hold it. Yes, it's this. This is a Baroque art gilding paste, and it's a rust. And we do have this at the store. This has lasted forever. And I did, you know, got it all over it. I didn't want, I wanted a little bit, you know, uh, stain. I didn't want it just, you know, for the piece to look really new. And also, you have some of the paper. There's more, and you know, old looking than the other ones, so they kind of even everything out. And like I said, and I gave it a good coat of um, uh, mud podge afterwards. Then I decided I wanted some a little rust to go with it, kind of the the chic with the shabby, I guess you could say. Anyway, let me put this up. And so what I did, I got some jute that I had. And I just started with the glue gun a little bit as I got started. But then I finished it off just putting Mod Posh and getting it really close all the way around and together. This little bit in here has got 10 inches. By the way, this is going to be a kit. 
for Valentine's and it's going to be released in January. Uh, I may release it right before I leave, which would be okay, and the kids will be ready to go. My daughter's taking care of the store and she'll be able to um, just mail it to you. They'll be already packed, you just have to order and go, okay? Anyway, um, and I will let you know, you know, how much it's gonna be at the end of the, uh, of the tutorial. Um, anyway, uh, so I did this, and it's like I said, 10 inches. And really, that's all I wanted, because I may just do something else right here, okay? I didn't paint it or anything, so I didn't think I needed to, but you can if you want to, okay? Um, for me, it was fine, and so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, um, you know, finish what I wanna do right in here, and then we will take it from there. Uh, my laces are gonna be this beautiful pink. I love it. This is a, a seven inch um, lace that I got in California. I believe we have a little bit of it left and I bought more. So probably, I don't know if I'll be able to, when we get through with the kids, that may be it. So we'll see. Um, I do have, I believe it's uh, 12 kits for this angel. Uh, and I'm sorry I don't have any more, but that's all I had, and I, that's what I decided to do. Uh, but, you know, seeing it, how is that, you might be able to do your own, okay? So this is one of the laces. Another one is this one here that I just cut off. It's a beautiful, oh, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. See, it's just, it's a lot of, it's just a knit also, a uh, tool knit, very soft, very beautiful. That's going to be in there. We're going to have some pink ruffle uh tool ruffle and some ivory where are you there you go so far it's gonna be more stuff than this but i'm gonna get started with this and then we'll take it from there okay we have a beautiful applique i didn't press it yet but this beautiful applique is going to be part of it too okay and uh so anyway and of course we got the cheering squad in here so let me put some of this stuff up, just to get it out of our way for right now, okay? And we'll take it from there. Oh, whoa, whoa, okie dokie. First of all, what I'm going to do is, uh, what I want on here, the, the, the dress of the angel, I want it to come down and so it kind of have a little train on the on the on the back. So I'm gonna start do I'm gonna do it in layers. So I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna do another one, and so on. Okay, like so. But this piece here, hold on, just a second. And you may get more than this. I don't know yet. This one is mm, twenty one, a little over by. 14. So it's a pretty good little piece, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is half it. Just go half. Because now I'm not planning to putting anything under this, and I'll tell you why, because you're going to be laying on so many things that by the time we get done, you're not going to see it. And this is going to be probably, I know, more than one video for sure. But I will do a full tutorial. And if I don't put this out myself before I leave, it will definitely, definitely will be, you know, scheduled to come out. So one way or the other, you'll see it. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put them together like so. Okay. And I'm going to slightly curve this piece. This is what is going to go on the top, right here. So I'm going to come up about an inch in to zero. Here's, a, here's an inch, two per inch. Curving it. And here it goes. So it's going to look like that. And on the other end, let me do it. Let's see, I guess we can do it this way. It doesn't matter, really. And on this end, okay, 
I'm going to come in about, mm, let's see, six inches from the hem up. I'm going to start about six inches and slowly and gradually okay just cut it off i'm going to cut this little corner off all right now there's two in here but I'll, I'll i'll show you why i wanted to that way i can just go ahead now this one here this one we're gonna cut it a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna bring this, just as easy to do this, by the way, if you wanna do it this way, that's the way I do it. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Whoops. Make sure that I get it right there, just right. I hope you can see okay. So basically what I'm doing is bringing this a little bit, keep it in the fold, and I'm gonna take off two inches from the bottom. Actually, let's see. Let me take three inches from the bottom, okay? I want this difference. And then just cut that off right here. I never measure anything, folks, but uh, I hope. So, the top one is actually three inches longer than the bottom one, okay? I mean, yeah, three inches, see? From here to here, three inches, okay? And let's see now. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the bottom, and there's a wrong side and a right side which is very hard to tell actually. It's so we're put together. You really have to look, but I think this is the wrong side. Yeah, okay. This is the wrong side. Okay. So it's starting. Okay. I like to do, as you know, yeah, this is the right side. Okay, I like to do things separate and trying to get them, you know, uh, decorate them as much as I can separate because it's so much easier and then you can put it together, okay? So, I'm going to start with this one. to start in here about here okay bring it all the way around to the very very edge and if you need to put a pin from one side to the other or something you're welcome to it you know to kind of guide yourself where you're at okay this is kind of good for me so I can guide myself through those squares and I'm gonna come back to about here this is how I'm going to get started to begin with, okay? So, let's just... Alrighty. Which is right here. And I just wanted just at the edge of it, pretty much. Whoops. And you know what? I need to put my little mat in here because this stuff gets in here all the time. Hold on. I don't have one of those pink mats yet, but don't worry, I'm over them. But this is working for me right now, so it, let me just do it in here, okay? All right. Okay, let me just put it there. All right, okay. Sorry about that, folks. But actually, I can still kind of see through here, so that's good. And I know the seven is about the right right here so it's all right we can do it we can do it okay there we go 
Okay, now that way I can just go in straight to the lace and it'll be easier. And I try not to uh, uh, stretch neither one of them. If nothing else, you want to be sure that the bottom, that the top, you know, is not stretched, but the bottom can be stretched a little bit, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be kind of a, uh, you know, pucker. I just thought I'd do this because, like I said, I didn't know what to do for the Valentine's. And I know we've done a lot of angels. And like I said, mine is going to be a little bit different. It's because, like I said, we're all different, aren't we? <laughs> okay, see how... Whoops. See, you just don't want to be sure that you do not... You know, pucker any of it. Like in here, see? That's the only thing better about lace. You know, it could be easy oops, to pucker, but we want to be sure that you actually ease a little bit more on top, give a little more on top and less at the bottom. Make sense? I hope so. <laughs> oh, Lordy. And like I said, I wanted to do this because... Valentine's is such a wonderful, wonderful time. You know, it's it's time for romance. I was married, like I, I was very lucky. I had a man, and believe me, I have our problems just like everybody else, okay? But he was a good man, and he was a very thoughtful. He was a romantic. People didn't know that, uh, but he was a romantic. I think he probably, in many ways, he was more romantic than I was, and I'm a very romantic person. But he was just, oh, you know, my friends were almost were a little bit jealous because not only that, uh, they have to get by their own gifts for anything, not Bill. He was a one of a kind. And there's a lot of like them around, believe me. We just don't hear as much of them. Some of them is a much of them, you know. They don't want anybody to know about it. Bill was kind of that way, I think. You know, he didn't want to put a lot of attention on himself. And it was okay. That was just all right. So, uh, anyway, I just... Let me know if you like this video this way. I, I changed the camera kind of like the uh, where uh, I had it in my uh, dining room on the side and I think it's a little bit better for everybody but you know let me know if you like it if not well we'll change it back the other way because there's not a problem I just want to make you happy and I think about here give or take oops That's about right. Looks about right. Okay. And we're going to cut it off. There is, as they say, admittedness behind the thought, right? Or a thought behind the madness. I don't know. One way or the other. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Because what I wanted, I want some of this to... You know, but I want something to uh, to give it a good uh, fullness to the uh, net, to this lace, because it's so light that if you don't do this, it won't do anything. Okay, right on top of that, whoops, I'm going to go with the Avery one. And this time, we're going to go from here all the way around this. But I do want that pink in there, because I think it's so beautiful. And I thought this is better than anything. Let's see, we're doing a little steps. Not only for your sake, but mine, because I'm I have an idea what I want to do, but you know how sometimes it don't come out the way you want to. So hopefully it will. Uh, it's when you design, I design something and I think it's a great thing, and then it goes to the trash. <laughs> 
you know, because I wasn't happy with it or redo it or something. That's just part of designing, believe me. Just because you have something in your head, not necessarily it's going to come up perfect every time you put it on paper or on, on fabric or whatever. So it's basically the same thing. It happens. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with this, because I want to show a little bit of the pink below. Uh, I came here right on onto it, but then I'm going to gradually go up a little bit. Oopsie, oopsie. I, I want this to be so special, so wonderful. See how I'm doing? I'm coming up a little bit. So, what will be? Come on. Okay, see, I just want to gradual. It's okay if it's a little bit in here, but it gradually go up slightly. This is a this is absolutely gorgeous. This was beautiful. See about an inch, give or take, from there. Okay. And like I said, I'm pulling this a little bit this way because I don't want any pucker. But not too much, just enough so they won't pucker. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like it. See? It's just a very gradual, but it's a little bit like this, see, and it goes down. And then, of course, we'll trim it with something, too. Okay? And this is a long one. And then we'll do the short one. Oops, sorry. See how I'm kind of picking it up a little bit and kind of, you know, almost like a, not a gather because I don't want to gather anymore. It's just that enough so that this will stay straight, which is what I want. There we go. Okay. See? And I like that. I like that a lot. Bill will have a cow if he knew he was going to have an, be an angel with pink. <laughs> he was such a man man, you know. I asked my, my daughter, we were talking about men and stuff like that. And she said, well, Mom, when, you know, I, I think they're kind of ready for me today, which I'm not at all. But uh, I says, well, no, I need a man. She said, what do you mean a man? I says, I want a man man. Somebody that's not too proud to be, you know, to be sensitive, but then yet, you know, it's there for you, that kind of a thing. I know it's weird, but that's just the way I am. And uh, because that's what I had, it's very hard to, uh, you know, to uh, describe what you want, but that's what I wanted. I don't want exactly one like my husband. I think it will be unfair to, you know, both people. Uh, but I do want definitely a good man, a Christian man, somebody that he's sure of himself, and, don't and that's a mind telling me to shut up either when I need to, <laughs> but he had to have a good, <laughs> he would have to have a very good, you know, uh, reason to tell me to shut up. <laughs> My husband made me very independent, and uh, so I cannot go back, that is for sure. And I like my independence, but I also, you know, it's one of those things that uh, even though I like my independence, I would give whoever the independence to, to a point like everything else, you know, but yes. So anyway, but it's going to be pretty. And I just, I mean, to me, it's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Okay. 
Hold on. I think I got it. Let me call her. Um, log on it. How about that? That's pretty good. Alrighty. So we got this part done. See? I got it just so it kind of barely gets in there, go up. And uh, when it's on, the, of course, we're going to do other things. When it's on it, it's going to be absolutely, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. But I want two. I don't want one. I want two. So, here comes number two. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is the right side. And hopefully it'll stay there. So I'm gonna come back with this. And I did, I'm gonna come about, about here. Uh, I tell you, my, my glue gun is acting up again. I've been trying to get uh, hold on. I can't talk and do this at the same time. I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, I'm trying to get those new glue guns so that I shoe binders so that I can get me one, you know. And uh, I tell you, it's just been uh, uh, the uh, the glue is already in there again. Uh, if you cannot tell, uh, see if I see that stuff in there right in there that's the glue that white stuff that is the glue and it's just so frustrating let's see if i can get some more because it will not it will not feed the uh see look at that uh, i'm struggling folks here and it's not going to happen when soon as i get my uh my shirt binder Okay, let's see if I can get that out. <sighs> I tell you. And it's not just a little bit. Look at that. And it's everywhere. I just don't understand it. There we go. See? And, my, and so when that happens, my... This glue gun does not work. And I don't know why it does it. I don't know. It just makes me so mad. Now I gotta get it out. Sorry, folks. But it's a good thing for you to see because, you know, you do not. This is not that old either, by the way. Which makes me really mad. Whoops. Let's see here. There's still a little bit there. Okay, let's see if I can get it out of this side. Well, this all seems like I'm going to be able to get right now, but that's better than nothing. This is ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, here's a little bit more and a little bit more. It, it's awful. You have to put up with that. Anyway, we'll go back to the project. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. But uh, it's, it's a pain. Now, see, that's fine, but, and if you don't do that, then here we go again, as they say.
let's see. It does fine if you do not. It's nice and straight. Just kind of barely, I don't want you to really gather it, but just barely ease into this, the pink one, okay? On the top, uh, no ease, but give a little bit more, let me put it that way. Uh, because it really makes a difference. It's just like barely anything, see? Because it's still straight around it, but just barely in there. Just a tiny bit more. Come on. Put that in here and kind of gives me a little more direction. And I think it's right to here. Alrighty. I think. Let's see. Yeah. I can kind of still steal the squares from this little mat, so that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of it. There you go. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go back with the uh, ivory. Okay. Again, we'll start right here on the top. the edge yeah. and folks here it goes again here look look at here look at here this is terrible. I don't know what to do about it. I really don't know what to do about it. But it is completely ridiculous. <sighs> this is a blob. Uh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, let me get here some more. Hopefully, we'll do it. Okay. Okay, we're going to start in here. And then... Work us up to about half an inch in, on the top in here, as we did the other one. Okay. Also, you can sew this with by your hand or baste it or whatever it is that you really would rather do, okay? You don't have to glue it. I'll do the gluing. I'd rather always sew mine, really, to tell you the truth. But I know some of you do not sew, so I try to, you know, try to do as much as I can so that you'll make it easier on you guys.
we're just going to come back from here to to here. Excuse me, sorry about that. But I never know if it's an emergency or what, so I have to keep it open. Okay. And now we're going to finish this off. Everything was finished, yes. Okay. And there you go. I like it, I like it. So far, so good. Mm. Okay. So this is what basically is gonna happen here. Okay, this is gonna be here on the there. This one is gonna be right in there, see? Just a little bit of overlapping in a gorgeous. This is kind of the look that I wanted, but instead of doing so much, you know, I decided just to kind of, you know, keep it. What do? Uh, I probably what I'm going to do is give it another pink on the on here. Uh, maybe no, I'm just gonna leave it like it is. I'm not going to. It's good. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put a little trim in here. And we don't need to, baby. Let's see. Hold on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And there's so nice about this. See, this is going to fit in here. So we're going to do a little gathering. So that will be just perfect. See? Because it all match on the top. And instead of doing two, we're just going to do one right on top like that. I think it's gorgeous. It's going to turn out really pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little trim. So hold it, hold it. Okay, and I got this pretty trim. It has little roses. It's a little rosette kind of a, I don't know, maybe, no, it's kind of a gimp. It looks like a little rosette, but it may not be it. Anyway, I like it. Uh, it's really pretty and dainty. Just enough to cover. So, when I do that, and like I said, I'm going to do it right in on the top of this one. And then on the other one. And really, there's not a right or a wrong on this one. They're both about the same, so it's okay. Just gives it a little bit of a finish touch in there. I'm going to do that around it. Actually, what I'm going to do, especially on the top one, on this one, on both of them, actually, a little bit of this little ruffle thing on the top, I'm going to cut it off. 
uh, that way. It doesn't show as much. Because I just want to try, just want to. Hi, baby. What's up? You think you're hungry? Well, we'll wait a little bit longer, okay? Okay, I think this is better. My little puppy thinks, you know, I don't know, she gets to eat earlier and earlier. I don't understand her. She's hungry all the time. And she eats very good. It's nothing wrong with her, I tell you. But she thinks she's hungry. She has um, this a high thyroid, I believe it is. And but she's well, actually, she has a low thyroid, which I don't understand it, but a low thyroid for her. She's very energetic, believe it or not, considering, and but she's gaining weight. So, and apparently there's no medication for that, at least that I know of. So, here we are. I didn't get a chance to do the big one, mainly because I already, you know, had Andrews, the big, and I have in here, you know, so many of them, and but it's going to be a smaller, and I can keep this in my, you know, either in my craft room or my shop, and so it's small enough that I can put it up, you know, so I thought that would be great to do. Uh, also, my uh, designers will have a kit. And they'll do their own version of it, of course. So kind of watch them. Michelle Pipling and uh, Kathy Lynn and May Larson. So do, oops, excuse me. Do, uh, I have Vic, but I don't think I'm going to send it to Vic because I don't have enough of them. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, Vic. <laughs> uh, this is all, these are um, projects that May Larson had to, uh, have bought a lot of stuff for do different crafts. So basically what I'm doing is, you know, that's all I have. And there, this is why I'm kinda, I don't have that many. When I start buying my own stuff or making my own stuff for my for my kids, then I'll make sure that I have plenty, not only that, but there will be, you know, plenty in the store too if somebody wants them. But this is because I will be making them myself and then I'll know what I, you know, to do so and uh, like the train and I got a lot of other wonderful like I say I got a lot of wonderful ideas I'm gonna do this with this folks okay, that's better. and this is also gonna give a little bit more of a you know a volume to this train so it's gonna lay down as it should So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Okay. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> oh, I like this. Love it, love it, love it. It's, I don't know what else, everything else I like, but I like this. <laughs> And I hope you make them because they're absolutely, it's a wonderful thing. Not only to that, give it to someone that you really love and care for or, you know, it, it, it don't have to be your sweetheart, it could be your mom, your sister, whoever, I mean, and, uh, you know, yeah, see. Oh, yeah. So that's going to really, and that's what I, I wanted, that look. That it's not going to just crumple like that. It's actually going to lay down wherever you want it. So that's what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to do the other one. Right here. And then we'll, you know, put it together. 
and this is gonna be our very first video, okay? Then I'll uh, figure out what else I'm going to do uh, on the other stuff, because I wanna make sure it turns out gorgeous, and then I'll come back with the other video, okay? Oh, that's so cool. I also think really that I would rather have, uh, you know, uh, a few more videos, shorter ones, than it would be probably a whole, you know, long one. That way you can watch it, but you still don't feel like you need to spend a lot of time on them. And then you still can go back and forth to look at them, you know, which is okay. And uh, so, and that way you don't miss any other technique, which I think is wonderful. Bigger. I think you can survive, baby. I think you're going to faint. No, you're not. Are you kidding me? Good Lord, mercy, girl. <laughs> they can get very demanding, can they? But then they do the sweetest thing, you know, and they love you unconditionally. These little sweet things. Oh, they can be a royal pain, and you know where. But, you know, uh, Tigger, she's my whiner. I never had a whining dog. I mean, it's just as bad as a whiny kid. Can't stand neither one. <laughs> and this is a whiny dog, and I swear. But then she has this uh, sense about she knows when, when, how I feel and how, if I'm, up, if I'm upset, if I don't feel good. And, and she wants to come for you. Uh, you know, that's so wonderful. So how can you get upset at them? How can you get upset at these little sweet things? Okay. All righty, here we go. A little bit warm. Just a tit. Just a tit. All right. There we go. Okay. 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 So now, what I'm going to do because I want to get this ready for whenever I need it. You know, uh, every little piece. Like I say, I like to work this way. I find that if I work this way. Everything is done. It's easier to put together, you know. Uh, and when I was making my patterns and when I was designing my clothes, at the same time, in my head, I have to think, what was the most, excuse me, efficient shortcut to make the outfit? Because then I had to tell my ladies at the factory, and then they would do them, you know, and no problem. And uh, in the long run, it was good for them because they, uh, they, they uh, work by the piece. And when you work by the piece, if you can make more garments or more pieces than less, of course, you make more money. So it worked out both ways, really. It was awesome. And so uh, I'm trying to do that on my crafts also. Okay, there we go. Now, this is the needle that we have at the store. 
uh, it is a big needle. I thought it was intimidating for me to begin with, but no more. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the very, very edge of this ruffle right there, put them both together since everything fits. And what I'm going to do is make sure I get all four little pieces there. Okay, and I'm gonna do a couple of stitches and then I'm going to tack it, okay? There we go. Okay, let's see what I like to do is Okay, Okay, here we go. I like to put my finger in there like this because then I can just do one and two, go over the loop and tighten it up. And now I'm ready to do the whip stitch. I like the whip stitch, as I said, for many reasons. First of all is, ladies, you don't have to, if you put your fingers, I know some of you say, oh, I got, you know, pinched and whatever. If you put your fingers closer to the point in here, you won't get your finger pricked, okay? Because then you have a little more distance. And uh, just go ahead and go through the back to the front, through the back to the front, and so on, okay? And now I'm going to bypass this chunk in here because it's a little bit heavy. I want to get as close as I can and then just keep on going, see? And just go ahead in and then get back on it again. But that's the way I do it. I just, it's better for me in here like this. And I can control my needle and it was not going to pinch me or poke me or whatever. <laughs> but that's how I work. I work very close to my projects with my fingers. It seems like a, I can do better that way than if I just don't. So it's whatever is, is good for you is fine. Tigger, be nice. Be nice. Okay, be nice, sweet baby girl. Anyway, here we go. And I just push it back down and, you know, there we go. Oops, see I missed a little piece in here, so that's why I like to work really close to it. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come real close to these two edges right, right here. And then just finish it off down, down here. And what I like about this, because a lot of the dolls, and I have, I have big dolls needles, okay? But this one, I like it because it is sharp at the end. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not gonna take the needle out right now anyway, but, because we're gonna be putting all the things in here and I don't want to, okay, so. There you go, baby. You see, I want this. Let's see. To come when I get done with it. These pieces in here, I want it to the. Uh, now, see what I mean about it doesn't take a lot of space, the needle. See? It's nice and tidy on the top. And I'm going to come here. So, when I come back this way, well, I got it upside down. Ho ho! <laughs> but I would have probably seen it on the way later okay when I bring it over here okay let's see hey baby of course this will be in here like this see how it kind of does a little curve and of course the other one will be the same so this is where eventually I want this to come in like so okay and uh, it can go in the back or you can bring it in a little bit in however but that's basically the look I'll be, I'll be working on and there you go I think this piece turned out gorgeous so we're gonna stop for right now and we shall be back 